everyone and welcome back to Upside Down Disney. If you're already here, my name is Jess and happy Magic Mail Monday, everybody. So for those of you that don't know, Magic Mail Monday is when I unbox any Disney mail that comes or any just kind of like fandom related mail in general that comes to my door. So it could be small shop purchases, pin trades, whistleblower trades, park pickups, um sometimes occasionally the odd thing that I order from like a hot topic or box lunch or whatever um that comes to my door that I don't feel like has a place in another video um any of that stuff can end up in a magic mail Monday so um today I have some pin trades I have some park pickups and I have some small shop purchases and I have a very exciting hot topic purchase to show you um that is like a highly sought after item for this Halloween spooky season that I am so stoked that I was able to pick up for myself. So we are just going to jump right into it. Also apologies if you hear any like loud like I don't, it's, it's pouring rain outside right now. We are getting like the after effects of like Hurricane Ida like coming through the east coast here. So um yeah, we're getting some pretty bad storms right now, so I don't know if you can hear it on camera. I don't know if the camera's picking up the noise. It sounds pretty loud to me in, in the room, but it might not be picking it up on camera. But just in case it does, that is what you're hearing in the background. Okay, so first up, I'm going to go with a small shop purchase. So this package is from Unique Ears by Illy. Um, she made the gorgeous Marie face ears that I showed in my ear tag video. She is a wonderfully talented um, small shop ear maker. And she also does little like tie knots and stuff. And I absolutely love them. So that is what I ordered from her. Um, that is what's in this package. I do not buy ears from her too often. I only have that one pair. Um, because her ears are just like so expensive because there is just so much work and effort that goes into them I they're definitely like a somebody can get them for me as a gift or I can like splurge on myself for like a holiday or if I get like a tax refund or something they're not like a I'm gonna buy a pair every month kind of ears um but her tie knots and stuff are a little bit more affordable so I she had a tie knot sale recently and I decided to pick a few up okay so I'm going to have like a mess of sequins all over my floor because she always throws little sequins inside of the tissue paper with her packages with her tie knots and her ears and stuff so I'll try to like hold a few in my hand so you can see so she's got all kinds of little sequins in here which is super cute so I got four tie knots from Illy. This first one here is this stitch themed tie knot. I don't have too many stitch themed like ears or accessories or anything. So I decided to go with this stitch one. So it has him in like a little hula skirt. Um, it has him eating the ice cream. It has him dressed up as the little tourist with the camera. I thought this was a cute summery tie knot. Um, so we're gonna take off my ears real quick and I'm gonna throw this tie knot on so you can see how it looks so i absolutely love these i think these are such a cute accessory to just kind of throw in your hair and they kind of make any look a little bit like cuter and dressier and whatever um and especially for like maybe like a fun disney springs date night or something they're like really cute um and more comfortable than ears i feel like so definitely absolutely love tie knots so absolutely love this one the second one that I decided to get was this Avengers one. So it features all of the Avengers in like a little chibi form. So you have the Hulk, you have Iron Man, Captain America, um, Loki, Thor, um, just all kinds of Marvel characters on here, I believe. Oh, you have uh, Black Panther on here as well. You have Black Widow, um, if I didn't already say her. So yeah, so many um classic marvel characters so i absolutely loved this tie knot and loved this print and I don't, again i don't have too many like avengers or marvel themed things so i decided to pick this one up and i absolutely love it and i'm super excited to wear it um i'm kind of like purchasing things with the idea in mind of like i'm gonna go to avengers campus someday and need like marvel themed things to wear um so i am like pre-planning like at least a year in advance an Avengers campus trip right now <laughs> and then the last two tie knots that I got were just kind of more um they're not Disney related ones but they just had like cute little floral prints on them um and I thought that they would just be cute for like a little like 
to wear maybe on like a date night or something or I don't know but I just thought they were super cute I don't know if I can wear these to work but possibly work um and yeah they're just super duper cute this one just has like a little um like floral pattern with like little white like sunflowers on it um and yeah I just thought this was super cute and pretty and it would kind of match probably most of my clothes because my aesthetic is very much like neutral tones and nothing like too exciting or out there so like a nice like printed headband um would kind of go perfectly um to add just like a little pizzazz so definitely loved this and then this gave me like super fall vibes so we have this little like darker yellow one with some more little white flowers on it and I thought this one was just super cute as well so yeah I absolutely love these I love everything that Illy makes um Ileana is her name um and she is just so talented and has incredible ears that again are just very expensive so I try to support her shop in whatever way I can which usually ends up being just buying like tie knots and masks that she makes um because they're a little bit more affordable than her ears but her ears are absolutely gorgeous and if you're ever like in the market to splurge on a really nice pair of ears for yourself definitely check out her shop I'll leave her linked down below she only has an Instagram and she does her sales through Instagram um but yeah she is absolutely just super talented and super sweet and wonderful so definitely would recommend her shop up next let's go with a pin pickup from Disneyland from Wynn my go-to pin pickup person if you are on Facebook and in the Disney Kitty pin trading Facebook group look for when to post um usually Tuesdays and Thursdays offering Disneyland pin pickups they are my go-to person um super reliable and um again things are always shipped super well so this was inside of the padded envelope this little like box and then everything is also wrapped in bubble wrap so um they pack the packages super well so that nothing gets damaged in shipping um and yeah so i have a few pins in here i honestly forget everything that's in here because like i said i basically have them on retainer at this point like every time new pins come out they send me a message because they know that I am a sucker and I'm going to order pins but I did decide that I wanted to try to collect a couple of monthly releases this year and a lot of them are like Disneyland specific ones so all right so this first one is the next pin in the cuckoo clock series and this one features Snow White I guess this is probably Snow White in her adventures or maybe it's Seven Dwarfs Mine Train I'm not entirely sure which one this is supposed to be for but it is a snow white themed ride you have the poison apple as one of the dangle elements down there um and then you have the adorable little cottage you all know that snow white is not one of my favorites and not one of my pin collections but i am trying to complete this entire cuckoo clock set so i did decide to go ahead and have this pin picked up no wonder there was a weird like shadow my ring light was turned like completely the wrong way okay so yeah here is a closer up look at the pin off of the backer card you have a little deer there you have the clock it looks like it's set to five o'clock um and then this pin is a limited edition of 3000 and it just has a gold finish on the back yeah i absolutely love this series this is probably other than the windows of magic like my other favorite monthly release this year i think that they are so cute i love the dangle elements on all of the pins um and i just think that they're gorgeous okay so this next pin is a star wars pin and it is a limited edition and it says resist and you have the little rebellion logo there and then on one side you have ray as a little sliding pop out element and then when you push ray over then you have chewbacca and so I literally thought that these were two separate pins and like one of them like Ray popped out and then one of them Chewie popped out. I didn't realize that they were like one pin. 
and one side was Ray and one side was Chewy. So that is super cute. Um, I mostly got it for the Chewy side of the pin. Um, I've really grown to have a little soft spot for Chewbacca because my baby cousin is like obsessed with Chewy. Um, so he has quickly become one of my favorite Star Wars characters and I've been trying to collect more pins with him on it. So this pin was $19.99 from the parks. Um, the cuckoo clock was $19.99 as well. And then here is a closer look of the pin off of the backer card and you can see the two sides of the pin. There is Chewy and then here is Ray. And then this is limited edition of 3000 and it is a silver finish and you just have the Mickey waffling on the back and the Star Wars logo and all the pin trading logos and everything. And then this pin is kind of like pin on pin ish because of the little like two pins to leave room for the slider element in there. So super excited about this pin and to add it to my Star Wars collection. And then the third pin that I have this time around is the next release in the Windows of Main Street USA series. And this one features, it says imports, exotic art, Mark Davis, proprietor. So this one is a tribute to Mark Davis, who's a famous Imagineer who worked on Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, he also worked on the Haunted Mansion. Um, and just so many other things. He's also an animator, I believe, at Disney before he became an Imagineer at the parks. Um, and so this Windows of Main Street USA series has been my other favorite to collect this year. Um, I love that it is like replicas of all of the windows on Main Street USA and it has all the little, all the little details of like the nods to the Imagineers and things like that. And so this pin was also $19.99 at the parks. So here is a closer look at the window and then when you open the window up this one opens on the hinge and maleficent is inside when you open it up and i believe that he worked on maleficent in sleeping beauty he might have been one of the like um lead designers on her so that is super cool i love the way that maleficent looks in this pin um, and this is just a super cool one. So definitely excited to have this to add to my Windows of Main Street collection. And I'm hoping to be able to get the next one in the series that came out at Disney World when I go down there um, in just a couple of days from filming this video. So stay tuned for that in hopefully my Disney World haul. Up next is a pin trade, I guess, with Abby. I don't remember pin trading, but we'll see what's in here. I've had this package sitting here for quite a while. I have, I've had some magic mail that kind of piled up that I didn't get a chance to really film too often. Um, so a lot of the mail just kind of sat. So yeah, this was literally postmarked from June. We are now, it's September 1st today. So I'm so sorry. So yeah, I mean, I guess I did pin trading back in June. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. So we've got a gorgeous Beauty and the Beast sticker with a little stained glass design and Belle and the Beast dancing. And then we have this gorgeous Moana sticker. I actually really, I really love the art on that. That is really pretty. And then we have another gorgeous Beauty and the Beast sticker and it says Once Upon a Time and it is a silhouette of Belle with a silhouette of the castle like inside of her silhouette and that is just absolutely gorgeous. I love that sticker so much. And then there is a note that says, hey Jess, thank you so much for trading. I hope you enjoy your new pin and it is on an adorable little Haunted Mansion sticky note that says home is where the haunt is. I absolutely love that sticky note and I need to try to track these down and get some of these for myself. So Abby, if you watch this, where did you get those? And then the pin that I traded her for, I already traded for before so I guess I forgot that I had already managed to trade for this pin and I forget what I traded her but um we have another Lumi hair um wishable pin and if you watched my last magic mail you saw that I traded for this pin already and I guess I just totally forgot about it so here is another Lumi hair wishable pin this is I need like a better way of keeping track when I pin trade of like what I trade for and what I like taking pins off my ISOs and stuff like that. I'm a mess. I'm all over the place. 
but thank you so much Abby for that trade I hope that you enjoy the pen that I sent you and I definitely don't remember what it was at this point because it has been two months nearly three so yeah but thank you so much I really do appreciate the trade and hopefully we can trade again sometime soon for something that I do not already have and then last up are some purchases one is kind of a small shop it is from Cape Worthy um I feel like they're kind of like bigger now because they actually do like sell products in the Disney parks and Disney stores and on Shop Disney and stuff um also in box lunches and Hot Topic and stuff but um they're like kind of a small business and so I placed this order a couple of months ago with them because they are located up in Canada they were having issues getting their stock to them um and then they were having issues getting that stock then like out to the states because shipping is still kind of like all over the place because of covid and stuff and then i think they probably got impacted a little bit by that ship that got stuck in the canal and stuff so this took quite a bit to get to me but i am super excited i'm glad it made it to me before my disney trip because these were things that i wanted to bring with me to disney world and so i'm so excited that they made it. so first up is this adorable set of overalls that feature rainbow mickeys on them so they are red overalls with rainbow mickeys printed all over them so like his little shorts and shoes are all rainbow so i thought this would be super cute to wear to the parks and i was gonna start packing for my trip tonight so it is perfect that i opened this package when i did um, and so this is part of the Disney Rainbow Collection, and I believe Cakeworthy is a queer-owned brand. Um, and so the, the tag just says, in celebration of Pride Month 2021 and the company's Pride Collection, Disney is donating funds as part of our ongoing commitment to organizations around the world that support LGBTQ plus communities. Learn more, to learn more, visit DisneyRainbowCollection.com. Um, so yeah, super excited about these short overalls. And then the thing that I am the most excited for is this flannel. That as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed to have it. And oh my god, this flannel is so soft. It feels just like the Mandalorian one that I got from them. So they have like stepped up their flannel game and gotten like super comfy flannels. And I love that. So it is the Aristocats Marie flannel. So it is this gorgeous light plank, light pink flannel with Marie embroidered in the pocket and then it has Marie's name embroidered in the collar and then what I absolutely loved was on the back it says ladies don't start fights but they can finish them and that is like my absolute favorite line in the movie this is it's why Marie is one of my absolute favorite characters of all time I just like absolutely love her I love just like how sassy and like fun she is and like I just like I don't know I've kind of taken that on as like my feminist icon which like and like my feminist motto which like I feel like it probably isn't but like I twisted it in my brain to be one um so I absolutely love that like I want a tattoo that has Marie and that like phrase so yeah absolutely love this flannel definitely needed to get my hands on it and it is oh my god it is so soft and I am so excited um I live in flannels in like the fall and winter season so this is gonna get so much use so that is what I ordered from Cakeworthy um the f overalls were $54.99 and then the flannel was $49.95 but then I had um a like 20 I think it was like 25% off coupon so I got everything on sale for a grand total of $78 and then the very last thing in today's magic mail monday if i can oh i think i can just rip it open perfect i have the halloween sweater so this sweater went up on hot topic sold out like just as quickly And then people were trying to sell this on like Mercari and eBay and stuff for like $300. I kept seeing Brittany from Mouse and Mama post about it because she really wanted one as well. 
and she was just like crying over the fact that people were like charging that much money on the resale market for it because literally as soon as like a preview of it got released and people started freaking out over it then like all the like flippers and scalpers like immediately just like flooded the website and bought a million of them as soon as they went up um but i was patient i knew hot topic would restock And that patience paid off. And as soon as it went up, I purchased one and then I messaged Brittany at Mouse and Mama and I was like, girl, get your sweater. Um, and so now we are both the proud owners of this gorgeous Halloween Disney sweater. This is from Her Universe, I thought so. So this is a Her Universe sweater and it is red, or it is orange, yellow, and white striped like a candy corn. And then on the little like chest pocket area here, it has a little bat. And then all down the one sleeve, you have a little moon, a spider web, a cute little ghosty Mickey as a vampire, and then a little bat. And then the other sleeve has the same thing, except you have Minnie instead of Mickey embroidered there. Um, and they all are like really like embroidered like into the sweater. Um, and this is a super nice like knitted sweater. I have a couple like this or I have one like this. I have the Aristocats one. Um, there was a Little Mermaid one that I was trying to get. Then I just never picked it up and I think it might be sold out now. Um, but when I saw this Halloween one, I absolutely knew I had to have it because you know we love all things spooky over here. Um, so I was immediately obsessed and immediately knew that I had to have it. So I am so excited for the weather to get a little bit cooler here in Jersey and for me to be able to wear it. I'm going to like live in it all October long, I swear. I will never take it off. So I'm super excited that my patience paid off and I was able to get this sweater and this was $54.90 um, from Hot Topic. I could not get it on sale, unfortunately, but it was worth every penny, especially because I did not pay $300 for it. So patience pays off and scalpers can suck it. And then there are also two pockets on the sides here too which are super convenient because I love to wear like big oversized sweaters with leggings and then I never have pockets so I love that this cardigan has pockets in it I'm gonna like walk around to everybody and be like thanks it has pockets every time I get a comment on this um but yeah so that is it for today's magic mail leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite thing from today's video was what have you been getting for magic mail I would love to know what small shops you're supporting what you're buying from hot topics and box lunch and whatever what pins you're picking up from the parks and anything like that I would love to talk about it down below as always, if you like this video, please give it a huge, huge thumbs up. That is a great way to support your favorite content creators here on YouTube. And please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the upside down with me again soon. And if you want to see and hear more of me, you can follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, both at Upside Down Disney. And yeah, as always, I hope that you are all having a magical week. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye, everyone.